Tonight, a Larry Barker investigation. It's the money game, a secret proceeding involving state lawmakers and the millions of dollars they dole out behind closed doors without hearings, oversight, or public input. Here's Larry's investigation. When you talk to members of the public and explain this to them, Larry, they are just totally blown away. This is taxpayer money, and the taxpayers have a right to know how the money is spent, and we're talking tens of millions of dollars. Quite frankly, some of the requests that are put in are downright embarrassing. Consider this cement slab. It's all there is to show for a $1.2 million public works project in Corrales. It was supposed to be a museum visitor center. Instead, it's an expensive blunder courtesy of a select group of anonymous state legislators. They call it capital outlay. Some call it pork. It's how the legislature funds public works projects. This year, about $600 million will be divvied up among the state's 112 elected lawmakers. Each House and Senate member then doles out their share to worthwhile projects in their home districts. So how does it work? And who's behind the expenditure of tens of millions of dollars? Well, that's a legislative secret. Where most legislative appropriations undergo public hearings and debate, capital outlay money is dispersed behind closed doors. There's no hearings, no debate, and no rules on how the money will be spent. This is one of the clearest examples of what the public should know about. Jim Dines is a former state representative. This is a no-brainer, it's public record, and most importantly, it's elected officials spending public money that the public ought to be entitled to know how much their legislator uh, authorized for a particular project. For example, a handful of legislators authorized a half million dollars for a community center in the northern New Mexico village of Watrous. However, the appropriation was only enough to construct half the building. When the money ran out, the project was abandoned. Today, the ruins stand as a $500,000 monument to waste. So who's responsible for this fiasco? That's confidential. This is one of the last vestiges of, of this sort of secrecy. Senator Sander Rue is an outspoken critic of the capital outlay system. At the end of the day, this is taxpayer money. They have a right to know how it's spent, and they have a right to know what their legislators are doing with that money. According to legislative guidelines, capital outlay is supposed to be spent on public works projects like highways, fire protection, dams, or sewer and water systems. Fred Nathan heads up the nonpartisan think tank, Think New Mexico. There are billions of dollars of need in New Mexico for public health and safety projects, things like our deteriorating roads, our decaying bridges, we have tens of thousands of New Mexicans who still don't have access to clean drinking water. Is this important to New Mexicans? It's their money. Uh, it should be important. Senator John Arthur Smith chairs the Senate Finance Committee. Where in the statute books is it written that capital outlay will go towards public safety, roads, uh, health and safety? Uh, it is not written. It's an uh, implied guideline. And when you don't have rules, or statutes, it leaves the possibility of abuse. That's absolutely right, and we have a long history, and I think you have a, a, a pretty thick uh, book on incidents where that's happened. Because lawmakers make their appropriations anonymously, the public never knows who's behind the expenditure. If the project is a success, they can take the credit. And if it's a bust, they don't have to accept the blame. For example, 10 years ago, a legislator authorized $50,000 for a Las Cruces dog park to include a doggy drinking fountain. Last year, a state rep authorized $50,000 to install a bust of Civil War hero Manuel Chavez in the state capitol. In 2016, an unnamed lawmaker approved $20,000 to buy animals for the Clovis Zoo. One legislator designated 10 grand 
to frame sports memorabilia for an APS football stadium. There was $75,000 for the Ladera golf course and another $50,000 to resod the driving range. An anonymous legislator earmarked $5,000 for, quote, a barn and stable in Cuba. Hmm. And someone in the roundhouse thought a $30,000 lawnmower for a Cloudcroft area golf course would be an appropriate use of public works money. Those appropriations were approved by the legislature without debate or oversight and sent to the fourth floor of the roundhouse for the governor's signature. However, with a single stroke of her veto pen, Governor Martinez nixed every one of the appropriations. Now that 50 grand for the Las Cruces dog park and doggy drinking fountain, that project was signed into law by Governor Bill Richardson. Every dollar we spend on zoo animals is a dollar less for our deteriorating roads, for our decaying bridges, for clean water that so many New Mexicans still don't have access to. New Mexico is actually ranked last of the 50 states by Governing Magazine for the way we allocate capital to uh, infrastructure projects. I've had over 20 years of experience in this area of open government. Because it was one of the most egregious acts, I thought, of non-transparency that I'd seen. Last year, in an effort to reform the legislature's antiquated capital outlay system, Senator Rue proposed legislation to provide openness and accountability. The bill never got out of committee. The senator has submitted the bill again this year. Over the years, we've done a really good job of creating more open and transparent government, and this flies in the face of that. It just hangs out there as an exception to that, and it's time to change it. Your opinion, Senator, is it time to do away with the secrecy in this process and open it up to public scrutiny? I, I have absolutely no problem with that. Times have changed, and we need to open up that process. I'm doing what I can do. Uh, as Speaker to bring the transparency into the capital outlay process. Using his power as Speaker of the House, Brian Egoff says it's time to reform the way the House approves capital appropriations. As part of an experiment this session, about $80 million in capital requests will undergo public scrutiny. There will be hearings on different projects that are seeking funding. They will be discussed and debated in an open public meeting and then an, op an open public debate on the floor. Senator, if one of your uh, constituents comes to you and says, hey, Senator, I think we need a statue of somebody at our courthouse and it's going to cost about $50,000, what are you going to tell them? Uh, well, on the humorous side, I want to know if, if the pigeons are in that area. <laughs> but, but on the other side, uh, fr from that, I would say absolutely not. Larry Barker, KRQE News 13. On Friday, a bill providing openness in the capital outlay process passed the House unanimously. Now goes to the Senate for consideration. You know, it's